Just final uh, changes and we're ready to go. Here we go. The start of the FIBA World Cup qualifier between Kazakhstan and the Philippines. And the opening play is going to be uh, Andre Blatch not just winning the tip, but winning it so well that he's knocked it out of bounds off his own baseline. And Kazakhstan will drop into a real opportunity straight away. Ball is inbounded long. Nice little step to the side. Uses a screen well and drains the shot. Wonderful start for Kazakhstan. There's a Galiev there with the three. And the Philippines started slow on Thursday as well. They'll not want to repeat that. Blatch looking to back his way to the basket. A little shake and a fadeaway is no good. They'll come back the other way. Hand off to Clemens. Inside. Good defence by Blatch is enough to put the shot off. Baroka to Blatch. Blatch for three. In and out. And this over-reliance on Blatch in the early stages of uh, their previous game didn't work out well. Let's see if they've learned from that, though, as uh, Lasseter steals the ball away. Blatch now. Hands it off to Baroka. Waits for the screen. Uses it well. Pulls a trigger on a long two. But the Philippines are yet to score. Over a minute gone in the game. There's a Galiev now, turns the corner, looks to feed the post and does so to uh, Zhigulin. Zhigulin, oh nice spin inside, uses his body well. And he's uh, picked up the foul, he's drawn the foul and he's going to head to the line for two shots. Good free throw shooter as well, the big man. 82% from the line in the qualifiers up to today's game. Not the uh, kind of play you want to be sending to the line if you're the Philippines. Good with the first. Back at the line for the second. Gets the roll on the second, and uh, Kazakhstan are out to an early five-point lead with 90 seconds gone in the game. Philippines a little bit slow out of the blocks. Oroka comes back to Blatch. Blatch fakes the three. Goes to the wing instead to Lasseter. Lasseter uses the screen, but it's closed down again. Blatch fakes the three. Little shake, step out. Shigulin in front of him. Has to fade away as the shot clock expires, and it's no good. It's come off the hand of Rosario, though, so it's going to be a Kazakhstani ball. No, nope. correction of the call. Good uh, teamwork there from the officials, helping each other out. So it's going to be a Kazakhstani ball on the baseline. 14 seconds reinstated onto the shot clock. Ball goes long to Blatch. Blatch shoots the three. And hits the three! He had back-to-back threes just after the half-time break in their last game. Zhigulin now, waiting for Clemens' offensive foul is going to be called. That one's, uh, I think, on Jurgli. Moving screen and the uh, first foul of the quarter for Kazakhstan. Rosario now hands it back. Good ball movement. Blatch fakes the three, drives inside. Euro steps his way to the basket. It's off target, but he's earned himself a trip to the charity stripe. Two shots to come for Blatch. Not the best of free throw shooters, just 56% from the line at the moment. Gets the roll on the iron. Unbelievable game for Blatch against Qatar on Thursday. Connects with both free throws. Brings uh, the game to a tie. 
Five points apiece. Two and a half minutes gone in the first quarter. There's a Galiev now. Goes to Zhigulin. Back to Mazagaliev. Screen comes up for him. Pulls the trigger on a three. Rejected by Blatch. Great read by Blatch. Pass inside. Just makes his way through. And already Blatch filling up the box score. He's got himself a block and an assist there. Clemens. Kazakhstan change of direction. Wonderful move to the basket from Clemens. Blatch now again, fakes the three, hands it off to Lassiter. Lassiter, little step back, not enough space for the shot. Blatch for three, hits another one! And the Andre Blatch show starts early today. Philippines out to a three-point lead now. First lead of the game. Yagali is up short, grabs his own rebound though and is fouled. That one's going to be chalked up to Gabe Norwood. Now, Igali. I think there's an issue with the clock. But, uh, they're going to have to go back and correct. I think the shave just almost halfway through the first quarter there as Kazakhstan inbound the ball to Yagali. Yagali a little shake trying to find a gap to uh, exploit can't find it nice handoff nice double pumps no good though as Gavrilov maybe did a little bit too much Blatch for three and another one for Andre Blatch they've got to lock him down he's up to 11 points personal already we've only played four minutes Gali moves it across now to Mazagaliev. Clemens goes inside to Gavrilov. Foul's going to be called. Wait to see who that's on. I think it was on Rosario. Kazakhstan will pull up for the mid-range jumper. It's off right from Barshin. Baroka slows it down and hands it to Lassiter. You have a feeling they're going to look to get the ball back in uh, Andre Blatch's hands. Lassiter will shoot the three. Off target with that one, though. He's no Andre Blatch. <laughs> Barshin drives to the basket and uh, Rosario is going to get called for the foul. Will be a sideline possession for Kazakhstan. Ball's inbounded and Kazakhstan trail by six after a very bright start. They've struggled to get some offensive options and Clemens working well there using his uh, extra strength over Baroka. And him a trip to the line. And uh, Anthony Clemens, just uh, his first qualification window for Kazakhstan. He was only uh, received his citizenship in December. So this has been the first qualification window he's been uh, eligible to play in. You wonder uh, what difference he would have made if he'd been around for the other qualification windows as well. He scored 31 points in his first game against Australia on Thursday. Really is, uh, has a reputation as a bit of a scoring machine. Misses a second, grabs a rebound, shoots the three. Now's the three. Big play by Anthony Clemens, and that's exactly what Kazakhstan needed at that point. He's up to six points personal, and the Filipino lead is down to two. Ball comes back out to Blatch, being guarded by Gavrilov. It's all asking people to clear out. Pulls the trigger on another three. Oh! He is on fire right now. 
Unbelievable. Four from five in the opening five and a half minutes. 14 points for Andre Blatch. Yagali now shaping up against Blatch. A steal by Blatch this time. Steps back, shoots the three. Oh, can you believe it round about now? Blatch is just dominating the game on his own. 17 points in just shy of six minutes of action. He has come to play and he is on fire. No real surprise there that uh, Coach Kirili Nokus has called the timeout. It's uh, all going the way of the Philippines at the moment. Pretty clear uh, message from the Kazakhstani coaching team. They've got fouls to give. He's asking them to be a little bit more aggressive with how they're playing defense. And, uh, and that's the reason why Andre Blatch has absolutely blown them out of the water in this game so far. 17 points, two boards, and an assist to his name. And we have uh, the Kazakhstan's got a plan to stop him. Clemens now with the ball for Kazakhstan. Barshin hands it back to Yagali. Screen comes up from Gavrilov. Good ball movement here by Kazakhstan, but good defense as well by the Philippines. Not enough, though, to stop Dmitry Gavrilov. The uh, recipient of some good ball movement and uh, a strong team offense there. Lassiter now comes back to Blatch. Lassiter uses a double screen. Skip pass to Norwood. Dangerous pass. Passing across the lane like that. Blatch looking to drive to the basket. Has it knocked away into the hands of Norwood. Rosario will just get the layup in in time. Just as the shot clock expires, he gets the points to go. Philippines back up to an eight-point lead. Clemens now. Wait to see who the foul's called on. Let's have a look. That one's going to be called on Rosario. That's going to send Gavrilov to the line for two shots. Veteran players in this roster. Connects with the first of his two. Misses the second though and the rebound is collected by Blatch. Baroka now hands it back to Blatch. Blatch uses the uh, Aguilar screen. Tries to isolate again, though. Lassiter for three. Off short. And Kazakhstan will pick up the rebound. In the hands of Yagali now. To Gavrilov. Into the corner. Mirza Galiev. Trying to find some space to penetrate. Does. Has to kick it back out, though. Oh, it's going to get knocked out of bounds by Baroka. Shot clock down to seven. Time to create some offense. Drives inside, gets it to go. A wonderful play by Gavrilov. Patience in the offense. Pays dividends for Kazakhstan in that situation. Castro now. Fugoy comes back out. And Castro is going to travel with it as the shot clock expires. Good deep. It's quite interesting, isn't it, that uh, 
they've not gone through Blatch as much. They've given him a rest. Well, they haven't given him a rest yet, but they're probably going to give him a rest soon, you think. Their offense isn't firing at the moment. Let's see what he can do now, though, with the ball. Oh, he can lose it off his foot. He's lucky not to have a foot violation called there, and it's stripped away, and Kazakhstan are out in the break. Barshin! Wonderful reverse layup. And this is how Kazakhstan play basketball. It's not always going to be the most glamorous style of basketball, but it's going to get the job done. They're going to hustle, and they're going to be tenacious on both ends. Norwood now. Hands it off to Castro. Castro taking his time. Very stagnant, the Philippines, at the moment. Back out to Aguilar, and he's blocked. Oh, Kazakhstan have thrown it away, though. Blatch fakes the three. I think an unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called. That one fires so far. Really a defensive specialist. He's been voted on to the uh, Filipino Defensive Team of the Year no less than seven times. Second is in and out. Pogoy now inbounds it to Aguilar. And the Philippines are quite stagnant on the offensive end at the moment. Pogoy shot clock down to three. He's going to have to create. They're not going to get it off in time. Castro shoots the ball, but it's after the shot clock's expired. Working together as a team on the offensive end. And that is uh, playing into the hands of the Kazakhstan team at the moment. Clemens now hands it back to Kuanov. Back to Clemens. Oh, nice hesitation. Drives himself some space, but can't get it to go. Oh, but Gavrilov, big rebound and a strong putback. Great body control under pressure. Who says that basketball is a non-contact sport? Look at the size of the bruise coming out on Gavrilov's arm on his shoulder there. Foul. Straight away by uh, Eight Kali. Teams are tied at 21 apiece, and the score does reflect the game. Both teams have had points of control, but no one's dominated. Dalliston now, he takes his first shot, and it's off target. Aguilar picks up the rebound, gives it up to Pagoy. Pagoy's way off target, but the rebound's won by Aram. Castro inside is fouled by Gavrilov. Bit more energy from the Filipino team in that possession. They didn't. Castro, a 71% free throw shooter. Yeah! Uh, first point of the game, and they're going to fight down for the offensive rebound, and Aram's only able to knock it out of bounds, so. It'll be a Kazakhstan ball on the baseline. Yagali now inbounds it. No time on the clock. They get it away. Oh, off the glass, but off target. And that's the end of the first 10 minutes here in Astana. Remember, the Philippines qualification still hangs in the balance at the moment. And a win here is almost a must for the Philippines, it's uh, a real outside chance. If they were to lose the game, they would still qualify. So they know they have to come away. They've got to leave the uh, arena with the win in their kit bag. Zhigulin now hands it to Baikov, who uh, goes to the wing. Floats inside. It's up short, though, and the rebounder hits the deck. Foul is going to be called. Jagulin with a big rebound, and I think Pagoy is going to get called for the foul because you climbed over the player to get to it. First foul of the quarter for the Philippines. Comes back to Kuanov now into the hands of Jagulin. Oh dear, that's a, a big collision in the air between Baikov and Aguilar. Both of them hustling hard for the rebound. It's going to be chalked up as a foul against Baikov. Sorry, uh, Zhigulin is going to be chalked with a foul on that one. Dalliston now comes back to Aram. Aram for three. Not found his range with that one. Clemens now for Kazakhstan. 
Little shake, little hustle, drives inside, draws the foul. Awkward player to defend, Anthony Clemens. A jolty style, change of direction and pace. Const there um, was called for that last foul that sent Clemens to the line. He misses the first of his two shots. It's the second though, and that one ties the game. Nine as expected. This has been a cagey affair. Both these teams are very well suited with each other. Balach now looking to back his way to the basket. Does so with a lovely little spin move to the base. Clemens now. Looking for the pass inside and floats a lovely pass into Baikov. Castro now looking to feed Blatch. Blatch working hard to get position in the low post. Or oh, tries to pass across, almost gets intercepted, but Pagoy holds on to it. Blatch now going up against Jagulin. Right hand is uh, short this time for Blatch. Is it off to Clemens? Elbow jumper from Clemens. A little bit too much weight on that one. Castro now. Slows it down for the Philippines. Back out of Blatch, open for three, doesn't take it though. Steps his way inside with the finger roll. He's asking for the foul as well. This could be a uh, international career night for Andre Blatch. Fade, only just over two and a half minutes through this quarter as well. That could cost them dearly. Nugali connects with both and that ties the game up again. He brings it up over the half. Blatch will set him a screen, doesn't use it. Explodes to the baseline. Dalliston hands it back to Castro, back to Dalliston. He's quite happy from that range. Blatch, such a threat today. Into the corner, Castro for three. Beautiful play by the Philippines. They lured the defenders in. The help had to creep in. Just in kill for Blatch. One on one, jumps over. Finger roll for Blatch. He is in dominant form here today. Clemens now. Swings the pass back around to Zhigulin and Dalliston's going to foul him. Barshin now inbounds it to Yagali. Yagali looks to find some space to work inside. The travel's going to be called on Yagali. Really is a... Uh, Superstar player for the Philippines. Lassiter now uses the screen set by Rosario and drains the jumper. And for Kazakhstan, they're down by seven now. Clemens uses the Gavrilov screen. And Gavrilov is fouled by Rosario on his way to the bucket. To, uh, wrestle control of the momentum. And connects with the second. Good shooting. If you're not shooting a high percentage from the line, you can be a weakness that is exploited by the opposition. Seen it time and time again. Pagoy now inside. Can't get that to drop and uh, to inbound the ball. It's going to have to go long with it and a bit of a fight in the air. Blatch catch and shoot. Off target with that attempt and Barshin pulls down the rebound for Kazakhstan. Yagali's fouled by Blatch. And the second keeps his perfect record from the line alive here today. Fajardo is going to get called for the offensive foul. He uh, really didn't set himself. Barshin oh, inbounds it to Clemens. And a lot is on the shoulders of Clemens. It's either the uh, scorer or the creator. Travelling violation. Easy one for the officials to call on uh, Zhigul in there. And that's what these World, Qu Qualif World Cup qualifiers have done. They've enabled fans across the world to uh, see international games played more often. For Hardo, though, is off target. Claiming his arm was hit. No call from the officials, though. Clemens almost loses the ball. Recovers it though, Barshin goes inside, 
Strong move off the glass from Maidekin, but it's off target. And Blatch comes back the other way. But the foul is going to be called on uh, Zhigulim. Blatch now on the wing, being guarded by Zhigulin. Screen comes up from Fajardo. He's got his isolation he wants. He puts the three up. Too much on that one, though. And the hot streak of Blatch has cooled off somewhat. Still do remember he's on 23 points already, though. Step back from Clemens. Lovely play. Stops on a dime. Creates the space for the jumper. He's up to nine points personal now, and that shaves the Filipino lead down to just a point. Oh, they try to find Blatch on the outside. Instead, it's going to be a three on no one. Fast break as uh, Yagali lays it in. Ball into the low post now to Fajardo. Backs his way down and draws the foul on Maidekin. Previous game, and we see it here. Plenty of travelling fans for the Philippines. And look at the uh, Kazakhstani coach in the background asking the fans to make more noise when the Philippines are at the line. Misses both. And uh, appreciative clap from the Kazakhstani coach to the fans behind the team bench. Yagali now. Comes back to Medikin. Medikin comes across to uh, Mazagaliev. Back to Clemens. Good ball movement here by Kazakhstan. Quite confident. Medikin now inside and one. Wonderful patient offense from the Kazakhstanis. One of the uh, bright stars of the future for Kazakhstani basketball. Can't convert the free throw though. Just over three minutes to play in this second quarter. Latch skips it to the corner. Nice ball movement. Dalliston way out for three. Oh, string music for Dalliston. Difficult to guard a player when he has that much range in his shooting. Clemens for three. Can he cancel it out? He can. What a quick answer from Anthony Clemens. Foul is going to be called on Maidekin. Connects with the first. And the second as well. Medikin now. Mazagaliev to Clemens. Again, Kazakhstan moving the ball well, but the Filipino defense is really smothering round about now. And Black. Good defense by the Philippines. Oh, wonderful play. Oh, what a tough foul. That's not good looking at all. That was cut along the baseline and the foul from behind by Blatch. Oh, he lands full on his arm and his shoulder. And uh, Blatch in foul trouble now. That's his third foul. That's probably the biggest story out of that. I'm surprised they're leaving him on the floor still. You know, the team's doing something right. Baroka now advances that up over the half. Blatch sets the screen. Baroka, little right hand teardrop is good. There's a Galiev, he's double teamed as he tries to find some space inside. The ball is put deep down to Bykov. Bykov can't get it to roll though. And Blatch will pull down the rebound with 90 seconds left in this second quarter. Almost a great pass down the throat of the lane, but it's intercepted by Yagali. Yagali feeds it ahead. The game is as close as we predicted. Horn's offense now for the Philippines. Fajardo rolls to the basket, takes the defenders with him. But uh, Baroka unable to capitalize on that space. Clemens now with the ball as we have one minute remaining in this second quarter. Yagali to Barshin. Barjin inside now to Baikov. Wonderful pass, but uh, Yagali unable to finish the lay-in. He was under pressure, though, from Lasseter. Lasseter now, step back three. Oh, drains it. What a big time to make a three. 
Important final 30 seconds coming up now for both teams. Clemens for three. Off target. Fajardo flies through and pulls down the rebound for the Philippines. And they could extend their lead here. Shot clock's turned off. They're going to look to take the final shot of the quarter. And it wouldn't surprise you if it was Dalliston who took it. He's certainly known for being tough in the clutch. Four seconds left now. Dalliston drives to the basket. Tries to create space. Does. Uses the glass well. And what a great way for the Philippines to finish the first half. The second half here in Astana. World Cup qualifier between Kazakhstan and the Philippines. At the moment, the Philippines hold a five-point lead. Clemens now goes inside to Gavrilov, who kicks it back out. Kuanov, though, throws it away, and that's into the hands of Baroka. Floats up the right hand, which is off target. And uh, Rosario is going to get called for the foul as he goes over. They're going to see him sitting down on the bench for a while now. Yagali. Gavrilov hands it on. Clemens now with the ball. A couple of quick dribbles inside. Tries to find the pass. Probably been better taking the shot. Could be a long, long game for Kazakhstan. Jagulin for miles out. Too much on it though. And Blatch pulls down the long rebound. He's going to go straight at Gavrilov. And can't get the bucket to go, but... See if he can add to his uh, pretty impressive points tally already. He can with the first, up to 20 out. Trying to put Blatch off at the line. It's the second, and there's a noise from the Filipino fans that have made the travel. Shigulin hands it off to Gavrilov, who in turn moves it to the wing to Yagali. Down into the low block now to uh, Shigulin. Blatch with another rebound. Number eight for him. He's honing in on a double-double pretty early in this game. Norwood puts it into Aguilar. Aguilar will take the mid-range two and get it to go as he slides on the floor. It's a lovely shot from Aguilar. It's not one as a coach. I think Baroka made the most of it. Lassiter now uses the Blatch screen but has the door closed on him. Back out to Blatch. Fakes a three. Drives inside instead. And an easy two for Blatch. They do need to apply a bit of his own way in this game. And he's up to 27 points now. Gavrilov to the hoop and another block for Blatch. Shigulin hands it to Clemens. Clemens now shoots the three. Off balance. He was trying to draw the contact and the foul. Broker back to Blatch. Blatch fakes the three, drives inside. Spin move, right hand blocked. Baroka had his hand on his shoulder. Officials didn't see. Absolutely unbelievable performance from him. Like that, saving the best till last. Kuanov now waits for the screen from Madikin. Back out now to. Uh, Yagali, who's going to draw the foul off Norwood as Kazakhstan will need to start chipping away at it. Yagali now. Ball comes back to Kuanov. Drives inside. Right hand is too heavy. And the rebound battle is going to be won by Kazakhstan as uh, Zhigulin gets it back to Clemens. Almost goes out of bounds with it, but regains control. Hesitation, drive in, step back, jumper. Is off target. And the foul. Clemens now to Zhigulin. Hands it back to Clemens. Shot clock down to eight. Clemens inside, loses his footing somewhat behind the back pass. Wonderful vision there by Anthony Clemens with the layup. Norwood now using the Blatch screen. Finds a cutting Aguilar, but it's stolen away by Clemens and they're out in transition. But Clemens has thrown it away. Blatch with the interception to Aguilar. And he's fouled hard. And that one's... Update from the Japan game. Obviously, the Philippines would like Japan to lose that one. To lose that one. And again, a pair of bad news. A little over a minute left in the third quarter there. An 11 on lead by two. Ten. Six and a half minutes to play in the third. 
Lassiton out. Back to Blatch. Blatch drives hard to the basket and manages to turn the corner and once suck into the play. 12 point lead now for the Philippines. Clemens back to Zhigulin. Into the low post and it's stolen away by Lassiter. Very, very well read by Lassiter. Norwood catch and shoot for three. It is off track. Yugali hits the three. Exactly what Kazakhstan needed. It's lining up to be their lowest scoring quarter. Blatch now has it stolen away by Zhigulin. Lucky not to have an unsportsmanlike foul called. And one for Zhigulin. Chagulin converts the and one play, which is 10.2 a game in these qualifiers. So he's a little bit behind his average scoring. Blatch along the baseline, another two for him. Up to 33 points now. Rebound by Lassiter. As we enter the final five minutes this third quarter. Blatch puts up the three. He's off target, though. Pins an eight-point lead. Isn't much to be going on. Nice pass inside from Clemens, and it's not within the rules. Inbound pass to Bykov is knocked away, but the foul's been called in the qualifiers so far. Had a great game in the day. Just two points on one board for him. Just under 11 minutes played of the game for Bykov and Blatch with another rebound. That takes him to nine rebounds now. He's edging close to that double-double. Into the low post as he goes against Shigulim. Barrels his way to the basket and the foul's going to be called. Hits the first. Continues to be absolutely perfect from the line. Seven from seven. Philippines have certainly enjoyed it. Can't get the second ago. That's his first missed free throw of the game. Shigulin with the ball on the perimeter. Hands it off to Clemens. Clemens uses the screen set by Baikov. Now into Barshin. And Barshin goes strong to the basket. But can't make what was a simple layup there. Can't afford those kinds of mistakes. Castro now for the Philippines. Back out of Castro. Doesn't take the shot. Slows it down. Shot clock down to seven. Blatch now. Offensive foul is going to be called. And that was inevitable that that was going to come eventually. Clemens now will take control. Gives it up to Zhigulin. How big will that fourth foul on Blatch be? How long will it keep him out of the game? Zhigulin for three, hits the three! Back to back, big plays by Zhigulin. Lead down to six. Dalliston now. Nice crossover, buys himself a lane to the basket. Has to come back out to Castro though. Steps inside. It's always a difficult shot. Having to take on the move. Zhigulin. Fakes the three, goes high off the glass, but it's too hard. Offensive rebound pulled in by Bargin. Step back three, takes it. Short this time, though, and Zhigulin's just maybe taking a little bit too much on his own shoulders. As uh, the clock ticks down to 2.40 in this third quarter. For hard, though, to the basket. Nice and easy for him to create. Clemens now goes to the basket, fouled at the line for two, misses his first attempt. Graduated from Iowa back in 2016 and could be a really big piece of the puzzle for Kazakhstan going forward. Planted up over the half for the Philippines. Pagoy now. Tries to float it inside to Fajardo. It comes out of Castro with the catch and shoot. And he hits the three. That's a big score. Yugali. No good for three. Fajardo with another rebound. That's his third. Castro for another three. Oh, big play. Jason Castro. 
Back to back threes has blown the game open. 30. Clemens now goes to the wing, comes back, draws the contact, no foul called, and it comes off Clemens' foot. So it's going to be here uh, if the Kazakhstan team listen to instructions and go over the screen. Kuno is free throw shooting, connects with the first. And he does. Critical minute and 10 left in this third quarter. Jurgeli now comes back out. Long shot. Oh, he's good. Mercy. Just six points on the night for Mercy Galiev. A big score for him, though. Fajardo barrels his way into the paint and is fouled. Reduced the Philippines' lead down to 12. Fajardo opens that back up to 13. And you see it means so much to the Filipino fans. 30 seconds now of this third quarter. Philippines lead by 13. Aikali comes back out. Mirza Galia for another three. He's fouled, though, by Dalliston. It's the first. Players like him start stepping up and scoring. He's played in all the qualifiers before this one. And the Philippines' lead is down to just 11 points. Castro now looking to try and get the final shot of the quarter for the Philippines and make sure it's a good one. for Hardo will come up and set the screen. They'll pick and roll down. Floats the pass. Oh, it was almost a huge alley-oop pass. Ball is going to be inbounded. It goes long. Straight out of bounds. What a bad play that is. That's going to quarter. It's inbounded to Aguilar. He spins. It's an air ball, though. Of a, a catch and shoot. Doesn't even take the shot attempt, just runs the clock out and three FIBA World Cup qualifiers for both of these teams. It's been an almost 18 month long journey to make it to the finals for the Kazakhstan team. That dream's almost over for the Filipino team. It's still alive. Fajardo, nice. Old school back to the basket post move. More importantly, for the Philippines, their lead is out to 13. Nice pass to the corner. Mirza Galiev in and out. Fajardo with the rebound. Fourth board of the night for him. Castro to feed Fajardo. Fajardo receives it, but he's used his dribble up, so he's going to have to come back out to Castro. Into Pagoy, who's not on target with that attempt from range. One minute gone now in this final quarter. Zagulin hands it off to Jurgeli. Jurgeli drives inside, scoops the pass around. It ends up in the hands of Zagulin. Can't get the three to go. And Castro now inside. Off the glass, too heavy-handed. And Fajardo grabs another rebound. He's starting to dominate the boards on both ends. The move is no good in the post, but the... Uh, Collection from Pagoy is. Clemens for three. Oh, lovely shot from Clemens. Wait and see now for Castro. Into the corner, Pagoy. He's short with that attempt. Castro back to Bagoy, right hand is off track. But Fajardo scoops himself another rebound. Jurgeli back to Zagulin. Zagulin trying to back his way to the basket, but he's going to come out against Aguilar. Try and shape up on him. And now he's just thrown it straight out of bounds as. Uh, Ball now into the low post as Blatch comes back in. Lassiter nails the three. Wonderful shot from the wing. 
looks out further, 17 points now. Jurgli, reverse layup, beautiful. Philippines will clock manage now to some de degree as Baroka slows it down, hands it off to Aguilar. He'll come back out to Castro. To Lasseter. Lasseter shaping for another three. It looked awkward. Didn't look like it was his uh, usual shooting rhythm. Blatch now will back his way to the basket. Skip pass to Aguilar. Sideways shot is on target, but Blatch will just force the issue as he will go on four fouls. As is that man there, Andre Blatch. It's for Andre Blatch today. Certainly has taken his till. Just over six minutes to play, though. Kazakhstan have a habit of not going away. Don't expect that to change today. Clemens moves it back out to uh, Mazagaliev. Shot clock down to eight. Mazagaliev to Clemens for three. Oh, it's a big shot by Clemens. Philippines lead down to 14. Castro now as Philippines look to burn some clock. Blatch skips it to Lasseter, to Castro. Takes the three himself. Oh, that is a clutch shot by Jason Castro. Bravery to take the big shots in the big moments. Jurgli, he's short. Rebound's going to fall to Clemens, though. Back to Jurgli, to Clemens. He's open for three. Oh, Clemens with another triple. Remember, he scored 31 in his first game on Thursday. Will he beat that today? He's on track to at the moment. Baroka hands it back to Blatch. Blatch fakes the three, drives inside behind the back, barrels his way to the basket again, and is fouled this time. It's going to be made akin elsewhere that affects this game. Qatar 48, Japan 96. A huge hoops in this group. It also means... It's just how well they finish in fourth. Will they pick up another win here today? Blatch is doing his best to make it happen. It's the second of his free throws. Gives him a, a total of 37 points now. Mazagaliev feeds it to the corner. Zagulin can't get the uh, triple to drop. And the Philippines will grab the rebound. And you have a feeling they're going to slow the game down a bit now. Don't expect them to take shots very early in the shot clock. Expect an awful lot of this where they clear out and let Andre Blatch go to work. Later this year. Connects with the first of his free throws. And Lific from the line. There's really no way of stopping someone when they're in the form that Blatch is in today. Pass inside is stolen away by Blatch. And once again, you have a feeling they're just going to isolate on Blatch. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Gavrilov. They spread the floor as wide as they possibly can, the Philippines. As Blatch runs the clock down, takes the three, comes up short, rebound into the hands of Jurgli. Into Clemens, left hand off the glass is good for Clemens. Second game for the national team. Dalliston will slow it down for the Philippines now. Turns the corner, almost has it knocked away. Holds on to it, back out to Blatch. Shot clock down to five. Lasseter trying to lose his man with the dribble. Scoops it up. That's a really tough shot to make and can't get it to go. Gavrilov now moves it forward to Mirza Galiev, who finds Bargin. To Clemens. Clemens with an awkward little fake. Has to throw it away, though, to Baroka. Behind him to Blatch. Blatch back to Baroka. Blatch with the offensive board and the score. Group F. And we're relying on results from other games for the Philippines to qualify now. They can do their job and win this one. But they need to wait for the results of other games to come in to know whether they've qualified. Still is uh, not converted by Clemens. 15 point lead for the Philippines. Kazakhstan is still chasing. Double teaming across. Dalliston now back to Blatch. They're not going to take a shot to the final five seconds. Dalliston catch and shoot for three. Big 
play by Paul Dalliston. Game for the Philippines, a 20-point lead now. Big performance by the Philippines as Mirza Galiev shoots the three. Under a minute and a half to play. And the Philippines have done all that they can in this qualification window. They're likely to leave it two wins from two games. It's knocked out of bounds. It's still going to be ball inbounded to Baroka. And he gets it back from Dalliston. Dalliston now to Baroka. He'll shoot the long three. It's off target and Clemens pulls down the rebound. Outlets it. Almost off track though. Oh, the two-handed jam. That's nice for the fans in the stands. Ferdy Ravina is into the game for the first time tonight. 22-year-old is really a bright spark for the future of Filipino basketball. Dalliston for three. He's short. Ferdy Ravina gets the offensive board though and slaps it back. 30 seconds left. At a 16 second differential shot, got game clock. Pass to 30 Ravina. Can he score his first points? Nope. Traveling violation called on him. Okay, we're just getting news through now. Other results from other games have gone the way of the Philippines. It looks like they actually have qualified for the World Cup finals. What a result for them. They're going to come and celebrate now. And it means so much, not just for the players on the floor, but the millions of basketball fans in the Philippines will be celebrating tonight. Their team have done Mission Impossible, such a tough task, but they've done it. They're through to the World Cup finals in China later this year. The result here, Kazakhstan 75, Philippines 93. And with that result, they have earned their spot at the biggest show on the planet the FIBA World Cup Finals in China. What a wonderful game and a wonderful way for the Philippines to qualify. And as you can 